Hey everybody, it's that time of year, Valentine's Day, when, well, yeah, basically it should be just named Chocolate Day. And therein comes up one of the biggest questions I get. Is chocolate good or bad for your skin? Well, we're going to talk about it to in channel. today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my date for Valentine's Day right here. This one, this is Emma. For those of you who are new to the channel and don't know, she's my puppy dog. Anyway, I am obviously dressed to go to the dog park today and have some fun in our beautiful Florida weather. But this video today is about the age old question, is chocolate really good for your skin or bad for your skin? And I have both good and bad news on that. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I am Chris Gibson, a skincare expert of 36 years, which I help people find skincare that will work for them, not into their wallet and not do them more harm than good. So even though I'm talking about chocolate, trust me when I say this is definitely related to the health of your skin. The bad news is, is that not all chocolate, especially some of the most favorite kinds like white chocolate and milk chocolate are really that good for your skin because they contain too much sugar. And sugar, as we have found over the last several years through studies and through just watching what happens with skin is that excess sugar in your bloodstream helps to degrade and destroy skin cells. In other words, it damages collagen and elastin in the skin over time. So high sugar diets, not a good idea if you wanna have really great looking skin. So that leaves one kind of chocolate, doesn't it? Which just thankfully happens to be my favorite and that is dark chocolate. And the darker the chocolate is, the better. But here's why it can actually be really good for your skin, especially when it comes to anti-aging. First of all, dark chocolate has a concentrated amount of very healthy compounds and nutrients in it. So you can kind of think of dark chocolate as a sort of super vitamin. Dark chocolate or cocoa beans has one of the highest O-R-A-C, which stands for oxygen radical absorbance capacity. It basically measures how a sample of food or nutrients can actually disarm free radicals. And those are the things that damage our skin cells and make our skin age much faster with abundant organic compounds like polyphenols and flavanols. Dark chocolate is also rich in many of the minerals that your skin actually needs. In fact, your body actually needs like 89% of the recommended daily intake of copper, 67% RDI for iron, and a whopping 58% of what you need daily for magnesium. Dark chocolate also contains a lot of phosphorus, potassium, selenium, and even zinc. All of these things that we talk about all the time that need to be supplemented in the diet to have a healthy looking skin. Now here's one about dark chocolate you might not know and eating it actually helps you protect your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. So those of you who follow my channel know that I often talk a lot about the fact that we need to wear sunscreen. I harp on it quite a bit, but I also talk a lot about how certain foods like tomatoes and now dark chocolate can actually boost your skin protective factor from the inside out. And who doesn't want to do that when it tastes so good? And all of these nutrients and compounds in dark chocolate also help to reduce one of the main things that causes premature aging of the skin and actually damage and disease in the body, and that is inflammation. For instance, all of that magnesium helps reduce internal stressors in your metabolism, reducing the occurrence of things like eczema and psoriasis flare-ups and acne breakouts. Remember when they all told us you couldn't have chocolate because chocolate caused your acne breakouts? I know. That was never true. It was actually some of the sugars and fats that were mixed into milk chocolate and things like white chocolate, which isn't really chocolate. But anyway, those particular formulations that were high in sugar and fat actually could trigger acne breakouts. Some of these flare ups that we see in other immune response related skin diseases. So really no reason not to enjoy some dark chocolate this Valentine's day. I know for many of us that are single, that's really the only thing we're going to get. I hope you guys found this video helpful and fun. And for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin aging, be sure to check out these videos that are coming up next. Happy Valentine's day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on the next video.